Okay guys, here it is, finally, by popular demand, how to put a custom boot screen on your CR10 or 10S firm. First, the usual disclaimer. This tutorial is for entertainment purposes only. It shows what I have done to my computer to make this work, which does not mean you get the same results. I am an expert and have had many years of professional training. Well, uh, weeks, anyway. Do not try this at home. If you do, do so at your own risk. I will not be responsible for anything you do to your printer as a result of this video. You have been warned. Now, two more things to get out of the way. First, this is not for beginners, although making the actual boot screen and installing it is simple. And two, you have to know how to flash your firmware and preferably already have flashed it to the latest version of Marlin. If you don't know what I just said or you think flashing is something a weird guy does with a raincoat, then I strongly urge you to step back and get a couple of tutorials under your belt on how to upgrade your firmware and in case you have a CR10, how to install a bootloader and flash your said firmware. Once you've done that, and have a working copy of the latest Marlin software on your computer, preferably already flashed to your printer, we can begin. So I'm going to assume you know what you're doing, know how to flash your printer, and have a working copy of Marlin on your desktop. I've downloaded the latest bug fix version of Marlin, at least as of today, to my desktop, so I can show you the progress from start to finish. As you can see, I've also made a copy of it so we have the original as backup and the copy as the working directory. Obviously, in order to have a custom boot screen, we need to have a boot screen file. And we need to make sure that custom boot screens are enabled in the firmware. Let's open the Marlin copy and go to the main Marlin directory. If you've followed me so far, your fresh copy of Marlin will look like mine and will not have a boot screen file. Let's fix that. Notice that Marlin now comes with quite a few configurations and that Creality is among them. Here we have seven different configuration files, so pick your poison. Mine's a CR10 Mini, so here you see our coveted boot screen file and three others. These files mainly add stuff like your printer name, bed size, and some other parameters specific to your model printer. If you've already got a custom firmware set up, just copy the boot screen. If you're upgrading your firmware like I'm doing now, copy all four files. Let's go to the main Marlin directory and paste those files into that directory. Click yes to override and voila, we have a boot screen. Of course, it's just the stock boot screen, so now we'll have to change it. Let the fun begin. Open your favorite bitmap editor, I'm using MS Paint, and create a new file. Set it to 128 by 64, color to black and white, and units to pixels. I'm going to zoom in as much as possible to admire my blank canvas. So let's create something. Now that we've created our custom boot screen, save it as a PNG file to your desktop. Next, open up an online image converter. I'm using diegoogle.com, link provided below. Now all you have to do is drag your artwork onto the browse button and hit get C string. It creates the code we need and even gives you a preview of what it'll look like. Right click in the image data field, 
hit select all, right click again and hit copy. Now go back to the Arduino boot screen file. Highlight the code between the brackets here. Make sure you highlight all the code to the end and click paste. The last thing we need to do is change the length of time the boot screen stays displayed. 1000 equals one second. I like my screen to be on for about 12 seconds, so I'm gonna change that to 12,000. Nothing else has to be set here. Now, as I said at the beginning of this tutorial, you should already be set up to communicate with your printer. And if you are, you should just be able to hit compile just to check for errors and then upload to your board. Now you and everyone else can admire your artwork. It may seem a bit lengthy, but once you get the hang of it, it's as easy as make your artwork, convert it, paste it over the existing, and upload. Done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, you can help support my channel by hitting the like button, and if you'd like to see more creative stuff, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.